In this week's Do Something With Your Marketing, I want you to go find a tips and tricks video. Maybe from a conference, maybe just in general. What am I talking about? The other night, I was uh, looking around for uh, some ideas about how to get started if I wanted to play in Season 19 of Diablo 3, which uh, was just released and uh, went live just a, a couple of days ago, as of this recording. Now, in this video game, because that's what this is, it's a video game, uh, there are a whole bunch of established, well-known practices made by some of the top players in the world. And they put these up on YouTube on uh, different ways to uh, get started quickly when a new season uh, drops so that you can you have a chance to, to, to rate well in the season if you want to play competitively for any reason. And it's funny because even though they... Uh, even though they talk a lot about uh, what the top players in the world are doing, they share a lot of useful tips and tricks for average or mediocre players like me um, who don't necessarily even want to compete, but we want to just have more fun. We want to get more out of the, the very limited time that we have to play. And so they publish these fantastic videos, and I go through and watch them, and it got me thinking, what else is there? What kinds of specific videos about tips and tricks, mostly around the tools, are out there? So I pulled up one from the New York R Conference on using R Studio, some of the built-in tips and tricks that make this statistical language more powerful, things you can do that are built into the interface that you may not have even known about. And as I was watching this over breakfast this morning, I was like, wow, <sighs> man, I'm really I'm missing out on a lot of stuff. I didn't know this, I didn't know this, I didn't know this. And it really, I think, caught me up in terms of useful things that I can take and immediately put to work tomorrow morning when I go back to the office. And so that got me thinking, well, what else don't I know? You know, for example, in our notebooks, I didn't know that you could mix and match computing languages. I've always been programming in R, but the uh, presenter was showing an example putting uh, SQL queries right inside of an R, uh, R software. We're like, huh, that's cool. Uh, they showed an example blending in Python. And it was one of those moments where you're like, wow, these are things I would not have known unless I had been doing this a really long time uh, and had discovered it on my own or found a tips and tricks video. So my challenge to you, my my homework for you is whatever software you use to or do work during the day, go and Google for a tips and tricks video up on YouTube this week. It's a great week to do it here in the United States. Uh, it'll be Thanksgiving week, so it'll be fairly quiet. Whether you use Google Analytics or HubSpot or Salesforce.com or whatever software you use to get the most out of it, go watch a trip, tips and tricks video. Maybe from a conference session. Maybe somebody just putting one up one day. But certainly, I think for B two B and B two C marketing, uh, it's probably going to be conference sessions. But specifically, look for the the tips and tricks in the title because you know it's going to be a a mix and match of stuff as opposed to one a deep dive on one thing. But those little efficiency tips can make all the difference between you know finding an extra ten or fifteen or twenty minutes a day in your workflow if it's sufficient enough and. Don't limit it just to your marketing software. Go look for like an Outlook 2019 tips and tricks video, a Google Chrome tips and tricks video, a Slack tips and tricks video, whatever environment you work in. Use that as a starting point to figure out what can I make more of, right? What can, how can I be better at what I do every single day, a little bit at a time? Remember, if you watch one of these videos and there's like 20 tips, you don't have to try them all at once. Pick one. And roll with that. See what you can do with that until you get to a point where uh, you're using all the tips and tricks that were shown that make sense for you. So that's what I want you to do with your marketing this week. Uh, for those who are celebrating uh, American Thanksgiving, happy Thanksgiving. Uh, for those of you who are observing uh, other holidays at the same time, may those be uh, good as well. And talk to you next week. Thanks for watching. As always, please leave your comments in the comments box below. Subscribe to the YouTube channel and the newsletter. I'll talk to you soon. Want help solving your company's data analytics and digital marketing problems? Visit trustinsights.ai today and let us know how we can help you.